Good evening, I'm Kurt Gugsell. For the 14th consecutive time, the Jasper Wildcat boys tennis team picks up a regional crown. Wildcats beat Barrie 4-1 to advance the semi-state on Saturday. Also at Jasper, they'll play the Dragons from Silver Creek. Tonight, Jasper's Kevin Holzman will be inducted into the State Wrestling Hall of Fame for officiating the sport of wrestling. During his 33-year career of officiating, Holzman has been a signed 31 sectionals, 27 regionals, 23 semi-states, 10 individual state tournaments, and two team state championships, along with 11 team coaches, team state finals. In 2016, Holzman earned the title of Wrestling Official of the Year by the Indiana High School Athletic Association. Holzman has served as a mentor in developing new wrestling officials. He currently holds the wrestling sports chair for the Southwestern Indiana Officials Association. Jasper football will travel to Evansville North tomorrow to play the Huskies. Last week, the Wildcats fell to Castle 14-13 as the Knights held the Wildcats out of the end zone on a big two-point conversion late. Jasper coach Tony Lewis on the Castle heartbreaking loss and the battle with the Huskies tomorrow at Bundred Stadium. Castle was a gut-wrenching loss. I thought our kids played extremely hard. You know, we we just didn't make enough plays to win it. There were four to five, as is going to happen in every close game. There's four to five crucial plays that we just didn't we didn't win those crucial plays. Um, you know, we drive it down at the end, have an opportunity to we're going for two. We have the momentum. Uh, felt like it was the right call at the right time, and we just couldn't get it in. We were trying to get it to one of our best playmakers, Jack Levin, in a formation that we knew they hadn't seen yet. Um, and, you know, he slipped a little bit on the turf, and we didn't get enough push uh, up front. Uh, defensively, I thought we played well most of the night. I think we forced five punts, which I don't think we've done all year. Uh, you know, and, and we, as we told our kids going into the game, this is the best time to be playing Castle. They're coming off a big win against Wrights. They're probably going to have a little bit of a letdown. Uh, I thought our kids came to play hard. I thought our coaching staff had them ready to go. You know, you're going to have hard-fought games that sometimes you don't come out on the right end of the stick, but it wasn't for lack of effort. On the subject of hard-fought games, the North Series has been really good. You talked to the guys about that. What kind of team do they have this year, Coach? Well, North is a typical North team. They have big, strong offensive and defensive linemen, as as they always do, and they have great athletes. Uh, probably if, if I was going to say which city school in Evansville has both most years, it's North. They always have good good line and they have always have good athletes and it's no different this year defensively they've play, been playing extremely well uh their offense came around last week against vincennes putting up 28 points um you know they're hitting their stride and you know we we hope with the changes we've made we're hitting our stride as well we were getting kids a little more rest uh having guys go one way or one way and a third at the most for by a few of our guys but other than that we feel like we've improved the last two weeks but again uh after a tough loss, we've got to get our daubers back up and, and be ready to go against a good North team that it's gone down the wire every year. The Wildcats and Huskies tomorrow night. Meanwhile, Southridge will entertain North Posey Forest Park takes on Pike Central. The Colts will be without their top receiver for a while. Michael Pittman Jr. has a back injury that will sideline him for multiple games. Pittman is believed to have suffered the injury during last week's loss to the Jacksonville Jaguars. Team has not yet determined whether Pittman will be placed on injured reserve. The 27-year-old has caught 22 passes for 238 yards and a touchdown through five games. The Colts will go to Nashville on Sunday to take on the Tennessee Titans. Coming up tonight on Thursday Night Football, the 49ers will be at the Seahawks. The Pacers continue their preseason schedule tonight. Indiana in Cleveland to take on the Cavaliers. Stay tuned. We'll have more right after this.